Hello Connor, I normally say welcome back to Glasgow but you stay just down the road so welcome back to the Tigers for this year, how does it feel being back? Yeah, good, I'm happy, happy to be back. Yeah, and last season um, for both us and for Bellevue as a first season, you know, it, you're coming in lots of new tracks, lots of, of new style of racing and for a team and stuff like that so um, did you think it went all right? Yeah, I think it I think it went better than I expected yeah. in the end. You know, beat a, beat a few people I didn't think I would, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, and you came so close yet so far to, to quite a lot, yeah. um, obviously with us and Bellevue, but I suppose that's that's lessons that you'll, you'll, you'll take on. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I made it to pretty much all the finals in my first season, so I'm happy, happy with that, and hopefully next year we can get over the line. And do you feel like exposure to these sort of bigger meetings is maybe you know something that you've never experienced before and that'll kind of stead you well for the future? I think it's different sort of you know at an individual meeting you sort of it's all on you but then you know if you go to a bigger sort of final with your team you're, you're hoping he goes well and he goes well and it all sort of rides on everyone. Yeah and how, how was the team with you last year how did you did you find that was? I think I think it was quite good you know all the more experienced boys it was good to see what they're doing with their bikes and what I should be doing as well. And obviously now, uh, last year, last time we spoke, you were waiting on Dad coming over. He's over now, so how does that add to your kind of race day, match day experience? Does that help out or? Definitely, I think I think the biggest thing is is uh, during you know the, the small gap between meetings where I need bikes cleaned and stuff. You, Dad can get onto it. That's that's the probably the best thing. If if I need more sleep overnight, yeah. he can he can help me out there. So um, you've got it on camera now. That's his job from now on. Yeah, is it? cleaning bikes. <laughs> And it also will take a bit of stress off mum having to, to drive to meetings and take it or is she still going to do the majority of that do you think? I think they'll share but you know it's, it's much easier on mum now that she's not driving overnight to tracks and stuff so. And now you're 17 do you think there's any plans in place for you to maybe think about learning to drive or? Well yeah. Are, are you quite happy being chauffeured about? I'm, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm happy sleeping in the passenger seat but you know if I if I can help I'd be happy to. Yeah and, and what's obviously the season's finished and um, you've got a, a wee well to the start of the year, you do stay close, um, but what's the kind of plans for the, the off season, what, what are you going to keep yourself busy with? Just training, just hopefully keep keep running and keep exercising and maybe maybe get a mountain bike or something and do something like that, but yeah, just keeping fit and preparing. Yeah, and enjoying a bit of time yeah. to see a bit, of, I know you were saying before that you've barely been home because you're constantly going from track to track, so seeing a bit of, a bit of around here and a bit of maybe other parts of Scotland as well, is that on the agenda? Yeah, definitely, a bit of, bit of sightseeing once I've recovered from the from all the season, uh, but no, it's, it's good good to have a bit of a break ahead of me to, to get the bikes ready and, and myself ready. And what about, um, obviously, this time of year in Australia, it's getting towards the summer, it would have been, so it was getting warmer and warmer and warmer this time of the year, but for you it's a bit, it's going the opposite way here. <laughs> what was that like? I think it's it, it's going to be a new experience going going to the minuses and that instead of <laughs> instead of the extreme highs. But yeah, I can I just want to see snow. That's that's on the bucket list. Oh, that will not last very long. Once you see it, once you see it for a few days, then that will soon soon disappear. But are you looking forward to? I suppose Christmas is very different over there, but this is something a bit different here. Yeah, it's more of a blazing hot Christmas, but you know, a white Christmas would be good. <laughs> <laughs> and what about um, next year then? What, what, what are you hoping to achieve this year? Obviously this year, you said you wanted to just come in and score your average and stuff, but what's the kind of aim for next year? What's that? Oh, you know, hopefully I can increase my average and, and make it make it up the team a bit, you know, maybe number two from, from wherever I start. And uh, that, that's the main goal, just, just improve. Obviously we came close to some major highlights with finals and whatnot, but what would you say was a personal highlight for you this year? Probably the uh, double header meeting against both Sheffield and Berwick. Uh, that was one of, probably one of my best nights uh, since coming here. Beat a, beat, I think I beat Ben Barker something like three times, so that was alright. And uh, Danny King as well in, in a heat. Uh, that was a, it was a really good night and uh, just had everything working. And is that something that when you were back home beforehand and you were, you were thinking about coming over to the UK and all that sort of stuff, it must be nights like that that you thought this is what I, why I want to come over and this is why I want to do it. Exactly, yeah, just to, to, to beat riders that are supposedly better than you, it's, it's always a great feeling. Yeah. Hey, well, Connor, thanks for taking the time to come and speak to us today. Thank you. All the best for this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.